Hi everyone, welcome to a new video, this time of Isle 2 Stormvic Battle of Bowden Plate. Yes, my Patreons voted to have a Isle 2 Stormvic uh, video this Friday, so that is what we are going to do. And I'm going to start off with something which I haven't done uh, very much of. I've got a lot of the uh, the modules for Isle 2 Stormvic Battle of XXX, yeah, whether it be Stalingrad, Moscow, Kuban and Bowden Plate. Uh, we are going to have a look today, and we're going to do an RAF one, because we haven't done any good old-fashioned World War II RAF for such a long time, so it would be nice to do this. We are the 29th of September 1944. We've joined number 3 squadron, RAF Grimbergen Airfield. What a pleasant place that sounds like. <laughs> uh, here we are, a young and dashing taff in exile, looking to swoon with the ladies in the uh, in the low countries. Here we are. Fantastic. Anyway, so what are we doing? We, uh, we've we joined here. Uh, I've done a little bio. Uh, th these are like pre-selected you can do. Because um, I live in East Anglia, uh, Norfolk was the closest one I could get. So here we go. Uh, Kings Lynn in rural Norfolk, blah, blah, blah. He grew up on the farm and attended King Edward the uh, the Sixth local grammar school in town. Lovely. I did actually go to Kings Lynn College um, for a couple of years, long time ago. So I thought, yeah, that was that. So I have been to Kings Lynn. Um, here we are in number three squadron. Uh, it's going to be quite exciting. Let me show you why. Let me show you why. Um, here we are. Here's our dashing array of pilots. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, and already they've got experience. Look at that. They've got 52 plane kills, 68 vehicle kills, 22 road. Railroad kills, 50 heavy weapons kills, 38 buildings destroyed, and 20 marine targets destroyed. Obviously, we're new to the, to the boy, but here we are. We're in the Tempest Mark V. This is an aircraft you don't see very often in games, so I thought, oh yes, we're going to have a go at the Tempest. The Hawker Tempest. Woo! It's a beautiful aircraft, one I've always liked building models off when I was a kid. That and the uh, Typhoon as well. So let's go to Mission Briefing and get this show on the road. Okay, here we are. Mission briefing. Uh, enemy transport column attack. Yes. So that's why I, I chose this um, this squadron as well. Because not only are we just going to do uh, air-to-air attacks, we can also do air-to-ground, which I thought would be nice for a bit of variety. I'm probably going to do this um, career offline. I may record a few of the videos and bring them to you. Um, but yeah, mainly it's just because I've got these um, R2 games and the modules in them. And I barely play them. Betty played them, so uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get into it and get a little bit better, and then hopefully learn some of the other aircrafts. Because I don't have never flown this, so this is going to be completely blind as a rookie pilot with only t 10 hours flying. Anyway, here we are, Grimbergen, number three squadron. Um, Reginald Lawrence, our flight lead today. We are going up as wingman number two, and there's eight of us coming out in total. Uh, we've done the date. We know the time is 7:09 in the morning. Weather is going to be heavy clouds at 5,500 feet. Layer thickness at 2,000 foot and fog. Oh, it sounds an absolutely wonderful day. Wind to ground level, northeast by north, 20 miles an hour. Turbulence below the clouds. That will make um, ground attack fun. Uh, target approach altitude 5,000 feet. So what was the cloud? Forward, 500, 500 feet under the cloud. Lovely. Estimate target altitude is 100 feet. You got the pressures there. Primary objective: an enemy transport column was recently seen near the point number three marked on your flight map. Take off immediately and catch it. Success of your strike will be followed by mission critical objective completed. Message. Okie dokie. So we've taken off from Grimbergen. Um, flying. There's Antwerp there. So there's there's Brussels there. So we're we're just based um, north of Brussels in Belgium. We'll be flying over. The, the border into Holland, or, or into the Netherlands, should I say. And we'd be bombing just south of Eindhoven. So if we zoom in there... Okay, there's a there's a road that goes into the woodlands. So we just probably want to get them before the woodlands. And there's some lakes there as well. Just so we know. Just so we know. We've got some visual representation. Let's have a look at our Tempest then. Beautiful aircraft. Obviously this was made after the Typhoon. And not before that, the predecessor was the Hurricane. Um... I think I'm right on that. It was a Hawker design. Uh, lovely aircraft. Um, yeah. What modifications? We've got, we got, we got a Hispano cannon in there, which is cool. Um, yeah, let's have a photo of our... of our... Um, our good lady back home. 
give us something to fight for. Modifications. We can... Um, uh, the Sabre 11A engine with a 11 pound boost. Estimated speed increase at sea level 23 kilometers an hour. Let's take it. Lovely. We can't take bombs, which is a bit disappointing. Not quite sure why bombs haven't quite made it. Okay, and we almost didn't take any ammunition there. So that's sorted. So we've got our cannons, and that's basically all we've got. Fine. Uh, let's head to the aircraft then. Okay, here we are then, sitting on the runway. Acorn, clear for takeoff. Out. Acorn, clear for takeoff, Acorn right. Taking off. Out. There goes flight lead. I can't see him over the nose. Um, here we go. Ooh, big bit of a kick on the rudder. Right, we're stable now. Full throttle. This is flight Acorn Airborne. Acorn, proceed with your mission. Out. Acorn, two, airborne. Acorn, three, airborne. Gear up. And the fog on the ground level. Nice. Right, uh, I've lost flight lead. Where are you? There you are. Wonderful. Right, we'll just form up now and we'll start making our way to target. Oh, it's so nice to be up in a World War II aircraft, isn't it? We have to do more of this. See, I love the World War One aircraft, but yeah, it's um, it's nice to be in a World War Two aircraft and uh, an RAF one at that. Oh yes. Right. Um, so we're going to form up and start heading towards the Netherlands, Scythe of Eindhoven, where our target should be. I will see you in a little while. Us in. So we just had a, uh, I don't know what it was, something swooped down in us. I've just lost everyone. There's, there we are. Who have we got? We've just been engaged by some fighters. I think they're 190s. Should be interesting. I can't quite close on him. My tail, tail's looking good.
Right, let's get some altitude. I've lost him. I got blacked out for a little bit then. I just... I forgot where I was, forgot what I was flying, and I went too too quickly. And, um... Yeah, ended up uh, blacking out a little bit. No idea where that aircraft went. We did get a couple of strikes on him. I'm going to definitely have to work on my... I know convergence is 400 meters, so I need to uh, work on remembering that. Too much World War One action. Thought we had a, just there we go. We've just gone into the cloud. What is that ahead? It might just be the raindrop distorting the. the uh... <laughs> I, ah, there we go. Oh, I got one on my tail. Don't black out. Don't black out. We did get it. I just got a notification pop up on the screen to say we did actually hit that 190. So there we go. First time out, we've got a 190. Got another 190 here. Coming on his tail, 400 meters. Doesn't seem to be the the, the, the smartest day. I oh my god, blacking out again. Oh, he's got something on his tail. That's good. I will. Okay, I need to be firing from a lot further out then. I I'm I'm getting so close, like World War One standards, but um. Okay, he's got something on his tail. Oh, this is gorgeous. Why have I not been playing this game? Got a hit. Um, I'm worried about my my buddy. I'm going to go high. Let my buddy finish him off. Grandfather is okay. I've got visual on him. I'm going to follow my wingman. My flight lead, should I say, or whoever he is. There he is. Uh, there's the 190. Oh, we're getting dizzy now. Are you on him? If not, I'll come in. So another Tempest, we're okay. It's close. Did you get him? He just, he just... To the southwest. Oh, you did get him. Nice one. Who we got up here? Got a tempest, and that is another. Well, oh, this ground fire is um, something fierce, isn't it? Oh my God, this game is gorgeous. I will definitely have to do some more in this. What have we, who have we got there? That is another tempest. Remember, I'm just the junior pilot. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't want to turn too sharp and um, I'm just going to get my tail if I don't. Okay, I think we're outnumbering them. I think I've probably, what, what, four attacked us? And then obviously we outnumbered them two to one, so they gave us a bit of an advantage. Typhoon as well. Alright, I'm gonna go this way, boys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my neck's getting a bit of a crick in it. He's thinking the same thing. Let's cut him off. I thought I was Acorn 3. Clearly not.
Oh, good hits, good hits. Somebody's just gone in there. And he's gone in. Nice. I think we've cleared the skies. We may need to tweak the AI. Um, wait a minute. Oh, it's an aircraft crash. I thought that was a V V1 rocket site for a second. Um, right. I think the, ski the skies are clear. Uh, it's worth mentioning that there was another squadron of Tempest in the area. I think they're flying cover for us. So, uh, yeah, not only may we have outnumbered them two to one from our squadron, we also had another wing up here as well, which is uh, probably why we finished them off so easily. Good. If that's it, uh, let's get back on track. I'm trying to find my wingmen and the rest of the flight so we can uh, form up and um, head over to the target zone south of Einhoven. See you in a bit. Wait, who is that? That looks like a 109. Oh shit, hang on, have I just... I think I've just stumbled... It is a 109, he's just spotted me as well. We're just sailing along here. Happily, happy as Larry. <laughs> I've just flown into a, a wing of 109s. Oh my god. What a mistaker. Oh my god. So hard. To adjust from um, a biplane to this. <laughs> oh, he's going straight in. I think I've got him straight away. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Oh, don't black out. Don't black out. Okay. Well, there's one. There may be another. Holy crap. Okay, I may need to um, up the AI because either they're rookie pilots or I just got lucky there because that seemed too easy. Acorn. But this is normal. This is normal. So. Um, Range, half mile, out. And I'm not that great a pilot. I have no idea where anyone else is now. We're just going to keep dodging and weaving. That's just to get, give us a little bit more vision. We only got. I'm going to have no ammo left by the time we get to the target. Got a 109 on my tail. I'm just trying to not black out. I'm trying to close my um or oh, without stalling. Oh, yes, I've done it. Almost stalled, but I managed to get behind him. He's badly damaged. Is that the one I shot? Maybe that I didn't kill him. I let him go. I thought I'd killed him. Come on, Jet Taff, finish the job, finish the job. Too, too soon. I just need to get my eye in. Good. Definitely watched him in that time. Oh, I keep seeing these um, they hit the perspex scratches, and I keep thinking, <gasps> and the light catches them. That's in the aircraft. We've got somebody over there. Let's go and check them out. Oh, we've, got, we've got contacts there.
Whoa, got some on my tail again. Where is the rest of the bloody fly? Oh, I blacked out. Not good. Not good. I was pointing down at the ground as well. Oh, we're okay. We're alive. <laughs> oh, I got very lucky. Got very lucky. There he is. That 109 did have a buddy. Oh, let's use that extra 12 pounds of butt thrust, even. Squeeze your feet, squeeze your feet into balls, keep the blood going. Ugh. Problem is, I've lost him now. Where is he? to follow us for a moment, which will allow us to uh, take advantage and try and get behind him, which I have succeeded in doing, for the best, most part. Get this nose up, come on, get the nose up, get the nose up, get the nose up! Oh, I couldn't quite get the nose up. Don't black out, don't black out, don't black out. Ease off, ease off, ease off, we're in a good position. Patience, patience. Oh, ho, ho, what a shot! That was surgical! Nice. Right, we will go and do a bit of lip service to the fact that we've got to go to this point. I've lost where I am. Location wise. Right, we are going to go to the target location. Um, I think we're clear. I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone. Right, that's Eindhoven. They are the lakes. Where's the road? There's, there's the road. Uh, we're going to look for... Um, Potential column of vehicles going up and down there. It may be a bit of a challenge. Uh, we may be far too late. Those aircraft may have delayed us far too long, but we're here now. We're having a look. Oh wait, it's the white. The white could be the road. The grey could be a railway line. Not seeing anything. Okay, I think we missed the boat there. I think we missed the boat. Um, okay, well, what we'll do, we'll fly back down the road. Maybe they got delayed by something else. Um, the fact that the rest of the squadron's not here suggests that perhaps they uh, they knew that and they bugged out. Keep an eye on the skies as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Right. I have to say, I'm absolutely loving this Tempest. Obviously, dogfighting is... Uh, you've got to be a bit careful not to overdo it. Probably pull too many Gs. But it's, uh, it's an absolutely lovely aircraft to fly. Uh, which road am I looking at, actually? That's a railway line, so... junction there and it splits off to go that way and this way check the bridge now nah, I don't see him 
I think we missed them. Darn. Well, maybe the rest of the boys weren't there when I was uh, distracted by the enemy fighters, but... Um... Okay, I think it's probably time to head home. Disappointing that our primary objective is not going to be completed, but um, we certainly did a little bit of uh, damage to the German warfare today, so there's... Uh... Is that dust I see, or is that light coming through the trees? Hang on a second. That might be... That's dust. That's a column of vehicles. Right, we'll get them as they come out of the woods. Is it? It is! We found them! Oh, I'm out. That's all I've got. <laughs> that was all my ammo. Oh, my goodness. We'll let him know we could have had him if we had any more ammo. How disappointing. How dis... Oh, I can't believe that. We, we're out. We're out of... We have... Yep, I've got nothing left. No secondaries, nothing. Right. Ah, oh, there they were. Anyway, not much more I can do. I'm going to go low, go fast, and I'm going to head home. I'll see you in a bit. Gear down, green lights. So it's down and locked, good. There's the. Um, I'm coming in a little bit shallow, but. Um, it should be okay. The fog is quite bad actually. It means it's difficult to see the, uh, the airfield. Oh, there's the, um, the marker there, so. If I sort of land between the lights and the weather flares just come up, we should be good. Waterbury, this is flight Acorn 5. Requesting landing approach. Over. Acorn. Proceed. Out. Acorn. Five. Roger. Break off the land individually. Waterbury. This is Acorn. Three. Requesting landing clearance. Over. All right. We're going to come down. Start ease back on the throttle now, and just try and get the. Uh... Oh. That was a bit heavy. Oh, 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 that was a bit heavy. Right, hang on. Hang on. Let's try not to clump down. Oh. Oh, that was difficult to judge. Right, I have just clipped my propellers. Obviously, you can see that. Um, that's a bit embarrassing. But it's a rookie mistake. I'm a rookie pilot. What have we got over there? Oh, it's got a Mitchell, a B-25 Mitchell. Look at that. Acorn 3 landed. Over. Acorn. Clear the uh, runway. Out. Uh, would love to. Roger. Um, made a bit of a balls up of that, sir. Uh, <laughs> request pull. Request tractor to tow us back to uh, airfield, please. And we've got a Spitfire sitting there as well. Nice. Right. Let's um get a bit of a chastising by the mechanics and the uh, commander. And, uh, <laughs> God, what a way to end your first mission. <laughs> we'll go to debriefing. Okay, here we are. Mission result. Mission fail. Mission failed. Completed secondary objectives, which was to take off. <laughs> That's how much of a rookie we were. <laughs> Mission time, 54 minutes, 24 seconds. We shot down three fighters. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, but we didn't get any accreditation. We didn't get the vehicles that we needed to get to complete the mission. Um, if we have a look at the mission log, you can see, I've wow, we went really off course. Look at this. But that's all good. All good. Well, hello there. By the King's Order of Name was published in the London Gazette. 
as mentioned in dispatches for distinguished service, I am charged to record His Majesty's high appreciation. Woo! Taff in exile has been awarded, mentioned in dispatches. <laughs> so he, he was doing so well. This rookie pilot, this superstar, came on the scene, shot down three fighters, and then pranged his aircraft on the way home. <laughs> Brilliant. I've also been awarded the Distinguished Flying Medal. Nice! Wow, that's nice. That's a nice start, isn't it? Oh, our flight lead, Reginald Lawrence, was killed. So was Keith McDonald. Oh, sad times. But here we are. Uh, so, Barry Lee is um, going to take over Commander. And we've got Deputy is Alexander Wilson. Here we are. Three kills. Um, what, what's this? Successful sorties. Oh, zero. I haven't done a successful. Failed sorties is probably one. Yeah. Oh, total sorties. So we've done one sortie. Three kills. That's not too bad. Quite happy with that. We've got some quite punchy characters in our uh, in our fold. Look at this. You know. Okay, seventy-eight missions, seven kills, six kills, nine kills, five kills. But I'm looking more down here. Like six missions, one kill, uh, one mission, three kills. I know. But eight missions, two kills. You know, they're quite punchy. Quite quite punchy um, pilots here, which is nice to see. Nice to see. Looks like I'm going to have a bit of a bit of a run for my money. Looking into the pilot's details, obviously we get our uh, pilot's badge, which we already had. Mentioned dispatches and the Distinguished Flying Medal. And three light aircraft shot down. Brilliant! Anything happening in world news? The Royal Courier. Chaos in the Netherlands. Uh, the a US 82nd and 10 oh, the 101st Airborne jump into battle. Nice. German resist Northern Allied push. Up here we got um, Patel or Patel with uh, 52 missions, uh, 52 kills. I beg your pardon. And wow, we we've got a long way to go to get anywhere on that leaderboard. Uh, <laughs> we will not look at that too often. It's quite depressing. But um, so far so good. I'm happy with how things went. Good first mission. Need to practice our landings. Also need to save our ammunition. Uh, get better with our shooting so we can actually hit our ground targets. A couple of bombs would have been nice, but in the dogfight would have probably jettisoned them anyway. Right, we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this. This was something different, wasn't it? A bit of Isle 2 Stormovic. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I certainly hope you did too. If you did, please hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see some more, and I may well bring you some more in the future. Take care. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.